Our cavity is contagious. According to studies, the bacteria that cause cavities can be transmitted from one person to another. Sugar, candies, and sweets are usually blamed for rotten teeth, but the real culprits are bacteria, called Streptococcus mutans, which are contagious. Just as a cold virus can be passed from one person to the next, so can these cavity-causing bacteria. They feed on food particles left in your mouth, and the acid they produce eats away teeth. The bacteria or bugs travel easily from person to person. These bacteria can spread from mouth to mouth via shared food and utensils, sneezing, kissing, and more. Kissing between couples can also cause the spread of harmful bacteria. Research has shown many patients, who had clean, healthy mouths, discover a couple of cavities after entering into a relationship with a partner who has cavities, gum disease or hasn't been to the dentist in several years. As an adult, you're less susceptible to bacteria spread than children because they haven't built up immunity yet. Most common way bacteria is transferred to infants and children is mom putting the pacifier in their mouth when they want to clean it and then put it in their child's mouth. Another very common way is by tasting the food themselves to make sure it's not hot before feeding their child, or using the same spoon that mom ate from. This could also be the babysitter or any other person that is taking care of your baby. Here are some helpful ways to prevent transferring bacteria from adult to child. Tips in preventing spread of cavity and gum infection as an adult. How can your dentist help? First, your dentist can make sure your mouth is free of decay and infection. After that, there are a couple of preventive measures that are especially effective in preventing against these bacteria. And microbial rinses, a prescription rinse like chlorhexidine can permanently or as the researchers like to put it, fatally, disrupt the cell membrane of these bacteria, reducing the levels in your mouth and preventing transmission to your child or partner. Fluoride application, every six months your dentist can apply fluoride on your teeth for protection, sealants, usually applied on the chewing surfaces of permanent molars. Xylitol, this is a non-cavity causing sugar substitute found in some chewing gums that makes it almost impossible for strep mutants to adhere and cause trouble. However, there isn't enough xylitol in gum yet but many companies are trying to get the approval for the full strength gum. 